G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. Well, I'm on my second go to fix my boot on Pop! OS. Now, there was nothing wrong with my boot. I actually did fix it originally, but I was recording um, to show you guys uh, the bash script that I made to fix my boot. And actually, it, uh, it ruined my boot because the bash script didn't work the way I wanted it to. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on there. So... I'm gonna, this is my uh, boot repair here. If we open this with text editor, um, you can, if, do we have a different uh, view for this? Uh, edit, preferences, anything a bit darker, I suppose. This one here, probably. And as you can see, I've got a menu here. Um, and then I, I copy this file that we're looking at into do, two different places, into root, um, and into mount, so into root and into mount. Uh, it needs to be in two different places. So once um, I change root, so I make I log in as root, then I have to run this again to continue using the menu. And then once I change root into mount, I have to use I have to run this again to use this menu under mount. And then what it does is it loads, it loads the uh, partitions in question, um, which is the NVMe ones, and then adds all the mounts, uh, as you see here, runs this command here, which guarantees your network. And then we chi root and amount, and then we install the generic headers and update. And then we install boot. So it did that and didn't work. Now the install didn't work. Now the, well, actually the only thing that I haven't done here is this exits a bit controversial because I've put here that I need to exit twice to run this J command, which is install boot. So maybe that changes depending what you're running. So I'm gonna open this as in terminal and I'm going to run dot forward slash SYSD. Well, actually, I need to probably, first of all, change the permissions and allow that as an executing file. And then we'll try that again. Open in terminal dot forward slash SYSD and run that. And then we shall A, mount the directory and copy file. So we'll do that. B, we'll log in as root. C, mount the drives or the partitions to chi root. Um, yep, I've, I've got to run that again, don't I? SYSD, run that again. So we're up to, we logged in as root, we need to run C. So let's run C. So C, I can use the menu now because I copied it into root. So I've run C. D, mount the system processes, D. Run E, network resolve, change root into mount, so let's do that. Now we're in mount, and then we need to run that SYSD again. So we need to reinstall the headers, G, let's do that. Then we need to Update in at RAM FS H. I don't know if there was a some sort of error there or not. Okay, so uh, we've updated the in at RAM FS exit after, so we need to uh, I exit and now we need to run the well, it says exit twice. I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna try to exit once and see if that works. And I'm going to install boot with J. So maybe I need to exit and exit again and then run a boot install. So um, is that successful? It looks like that was successful. Created EFI boot entry. So it looks like the install boot works successfully. I'm going to have to look back and see what I did there. So now I need to exit that and then exit that. 
and then exit again and now we're out so we've exited everything so now all I can do is um, I need to I don't know how many times I exit out of there it might have been twice or three times even I think it may depend but uh, hopefully the boot works because um, I need my system running <laughs> So we'll, um, hopefully the system's working and I'll log back in. If it doesn't work, I'll do it off camera and I'll be doing very much what I'm doing here anyway. I've just got to get it working. So hopefully I'll see you in my main system. So here we are back on the desktop of Pop! OS. So that worked well. That was an interesting video. <laughs> uh, first of all, I was telling you how I messed up my grub. Now I'm just going to show you how I fixed it. And then I didn't use that correctly and then I messed it up and I had a blinking cursor and I couldn't log into my boot just like before. That was all due to um, just knowing how this um, bash script works. If I go to that, um, this one here, let's just check that out real quick. It's all to do with the exiting and I'll watch the video back and you'll probably see it. Um, we choose, uh, let's see, I wrote it down. We choose I in the menu to exit. And then um, it's meant to be um, choose X in the menu to exit again. Then type exit again. Then you come back down a couple of levels then you can install, then you can run this J command, install boot for Pop! OS, and that'll reinstall the boot. Um, that's what you've got to do. Uh, that's where I, went, that's where I went, went wrong the first time. I didn't um, execute that correctly. So I've just written, now I've just updated that. I'll save that, and that's how that works. Now this is all specific to Pop! OS. Now for some reason, Pop! OS uh, does things a little bit differently uh, compared to, I think, most other Linux distros when it comes to Grub. Um, so this one is specific to Pop! OS. Now I'm probably moving from Pop! OS eventually because I just want to try different things, uh, just to see how other things are working. So uh, yeah, so this is specific and that's why I made it. Um, and it's also specific to NVMe drives and um, the way the drives uh, are done so that, that that's just going to be my boot repair for that now the other thing is um, if I open up my cherry tree uh, look at my cherry tree here um, somewhere here I think I've got something to do with system D uh, where would that be system D or not so apparently this is the command that you run to check whether you are running system D so we'll copy that paste that enter that and it tells me system D so I know I'm running system D because that is important when it comes to the pop OS boot repair or the system 76 boot repair site so that's important to know when you come to the um, system 76 boot repair bootloader repair site because it'll be asking you whether it's for EFI, uh, for NVMe or for SATA drives, for BIOS boot, NVMe drives, system D boot, EFI boot. So that, that's what mine was. And I think I did one of these. <laughs> I think I did the UEFI, this one here, EFI, and messed it up because um, I didn't read further down than it had to be for um, system D dash boot. Um, so that's how you can figure out whether you got system D boot or not. So I'll link this um, website in, in the description below because if you're having trouble with Pop! OS boot, this is a very well laid out website here from system 76 on how to repair your boot for Pop! OS. And it's worked for me. Um, you just gotta make sure you're following the right category here or the correct category here um, that suits your computer environment. So yeah, that was um, another bash script that I run through um, and thought I would uh, make something um, convenient for me because seriously, um, besides this one here, um, writing, now this is 
Pop OS specific for me. Um, writing all these things out here, um, you need to write, you need to type all these things out. So let's just say I put this on my GitHub page and then I and then I can pull it down from a live um, Linux distro, it doesn't matter which one, and then you can um, set this off uh, and just press these uh, these letters here and just run through it um, instead of typing and it's because I'm not a strong typer um, nowhere near a good typer <laughs> um, and even these take me a while to type out but that's all right because I only have to do it once and then all I have to do is press letters and that makes it more convenient so that's um, that's what I've done there so I'll just quickly leave that up there so you can if you want to look at it you can uh, pause the screen and I'll just go down to the bottom there and hopefully we can fit that oh, I can't fit it in too so I'll pause there and then um, I think I don't needed to run the main menu I don't know what these are I think I was experimenting with something down here so I've just commented them all out so it's only down to the menu that this script is using, just down to this menu here, that's all. And I'll also uh, put in the description that command for checking system D. So I think that's important as well. Um, and just correct me if I'm wrong, if this is uh, Pop! OS boot specific. I'm not an expert on booting by any stretch of the imagination. I just know that system D seems, um, system D, Pop! OS seemed to, to not use grub in a way that other distros do. I know it's slightly different and I don't know the differences. So if I ever come back to Pop! OS, I might, I might even come back to Pop! OS on the next long-term support to see what they've done with their desktop because I like, I sort of like the changes they've made now, but yeah, I've been watching some other YouTubers and a couple of them have mentioned U-Launcher, so I could even experiment with that in other desktop environments, that would be uh, quite handy as well. That U launcher looks pretty good, so I might even try that. So that was my Pop OS System D NVMe Boot Repair Bash Script. Hope you uh, found this video very entertaining. <laughs> how to mess up, how to fix, and how to mess up, and how to fix uh, boot repair on Pop OS. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it interesting and informative, and thanks for watching.